The new interface has been active for a good few weeks now and has produced some great feedback for the guys building and tailoring it to the community. Over to mod that gym then to tell us what happens next. It's been over a month since we launched the new interface system Alpha and we've had an overwhelmingly positive response. It's been fantastic. Uh, we've had hundreds of players in the games and on the forums discussing the new features and what they can do with them. Since launch day, we've had over 4,000 responses on the forums across 800 different threads, all of which have been really constructive and helpful in defining the new interface system in the future. We know how important the game is to the players and us here at Jagex as well. That's why when we go through the forums, we make sure we sift through every post and every thread to make sure that all the information is collated so that we can provide all of those features to the players in the future. The features that have gone into the new interface system over the last few weeks have all been influenced by the players themselves. So for example, the players told us that they wanted thinner borders around the interfaces, so that's what we did. In addition, we've allowed the players to lock the interfaces using the little lock button on the menu bar. We've added transparency, which players can control in the interface settings. We've added quicker window access on the menu bar, so you can quickly hover over and click to open your windows instead of going into the larger interfaces. And there's so much more to come. We knew from the outset that player feedback was going to be incredibly important to development. That's why we set up our team to be agile enough to react to that feedback and get it into the game as quickly as possible. In order to get feedback into the game quickly, we run in Scrum, a development process that happens every two weeks. This means we can grab feedback from the players, information on the forums, and get that straight into the game as quickly as possible. We've been so pleased with the progress of the Alpha so far that we want to open things up to the rest of the community and put the game into the beta stage. So by the end of this week, all RoomScape members will get their own chance to get their hands on the new interface system. Since we started the project in November last year, we've been recording each milestone's content. That gives us a really good indication of how far we've come, and we want to show that off today. Roll the montage. Come the launch of RS3, everyone's going to be using the new interface system, which is why we need the players' feedback, thoughts, ideas and additions to make it something really special. We're confident that the customization, the freedom and the style of the new interface system is going to add another feather to RuneScape's cap, but we need the players to add those final touches. What does it take for a man to become a god? That's what the Order of Ascension are trying to figure out. In Friday's Behind the Scenes, we talk to Mod Jack and Mod Doctor about a new dungeon, monsters and a powerful new weapon. And in next week's RuneScape 3 Behind the Scenes, Mod Osborne attempts to give us RuneScape's story so far, in under three minutes. Yeah, good luck with that, Osborne.